Okay, so this is called hinge theorem. You guys know what a hinge is, right? Like on a door? Hinges open and close like this. Okay, so what we have is if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle. So if we're looking at these two triangles, this side is the same as this side. And this side is the same as this side. So I have that, oops, AB is congruent to DE and AC is congruent to DF, okay? From there, I look at the angles. 43 is bigger than 30. And if this angle is bigger than that angle, but these sides are the same, then what happens is we get a situation where this side is longer than this side. They won't match. Okay, so BC is greater than EF. Okay, so this one goes backwards. Converse is flip things around. So if you have a theorem and you have the converse, you just go the other direction. So in the hinge theorem, we have that the bigger angle makes the bigger side. In the converse, we have the bigger side makes the bigger angle. So what we have is AB is the same length as DE again. And then we have AC being the same length as DF. But then what we get is that this side is bigger than that side. So BC is going to be greater than EF. And that's going to give us a situation where we have that angle A is going to be greater than angle D. So here we had the angles. The bigger angle made the bigger side. Here we have the bigger side makes the bigger angle. So it's kind of like what we were doing in the, where we were in one triangle, where you had a bigger angle was across from the largest side of the one triangle. But now we're talking about two triangles but it's still the same idea. The bigger angle creates the bigger side. The bigger side is across from the bigger angle. Here we're gonna actually do this. We're gonna compare Wx and Xy, okay? So Wx is this line here, and Xy is this line here, okay? What we're going to decide is which one's bigger. 51 is across from WX. 55 is across from XY. So which one's greater, XY or WX? XY. So WX is going to be less than XY. Okay. Going the opposite direction, I want to compare angle FCD. So FCD is this angle here. And angle BFC, BFC. No, I did that wrong. Sorry, ignore this green. I marked the wrong angle. Um, FCD is this angle, and then BFC, BFC is this angle. Tuesday. Okay, so I have a 3.6 and a 3. The 3 is across from 
the green angle, the 3.6 is across from the yellow. So which angle's bigger? Yellow or green? Yellow. So that's a less than the measure of angle B. Okay, so that's all you know. you're going to be doing the same kind of idea as what we were doing in the last section, except this time we're comparing two different triangles. So look for the biggest angle, that's across from the biggest side. Look for the biggest side, that's across from the biggest angle. JK and MQ. JK, MQ, which one's larger, JK or MQ? Yeah, JK because it's across from 72 versus 61, so JK is greater than MQ. And then here we're looking at SRT. That's this angle versus BRT. That's this angle. Which one's going to be larger, yellow or green? Yellow, because it's across from the larger number. So SRT is going to be less than BRT. We're going to label everything that's congruent, okay? So B, A, B, D, B, C, and B, E are all congruent. So for this particular thing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and highlight, oh, that's too fast. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight them so we know they're all the same length. So these are all the same length, okay? Now, A, C... is going to be greater than, or sorry, less than DE. Okay, so red and blue, and what I have is red is less than blue. Hmm? That's all just from right here. That's all I did was marked everything. So the green lines were all the same, and then AC is this line, and DE is this line, and it said that this was smaller than that. So that's all I've done so far. Is that better? Yeah, okay. No, I haven't found, I haven't, all I'm doing is labeling the picture. I haven't started thinking about the problem, but what I want to do is I want to take measure of angle one and the measure of angle two, and I need to figure out what symbol goes in here, and it's going to be this or that, okay? Not one, not two, I meant three. Okay, now, the fact that this red side is shorter than the blue side tells me that this whole angle is smaller than this whole angle. Does that make sense so far? That's just what that side tells me? Larger side is across from the larger angle, but that's this angle, because that's the triangle. What do they have in common? I have the angle that's in this triangle, and then I have the angle that's in this triangle. They both have angle two in common. Well, what I have right now is angle 1 plus 2 is less than angle 2 plus 3. Does that make sense so far? Because they both include 2? Well, if I take the 2 out, that tells me angle 1 is less than angle 3. And I can take the 2 out because it's the same for both of them. 
So that's how we would figure that out. So if they share a piece in common, you just take that piece away, but the relationship with the piece in will be the same as the relationship with the piece out. Make sense? 